Y'all about to see my Y'all about to see my Shabbatta. Hey, so, uh, first and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahushai. Yahushai. Bashem. Bashem. Ka. Uko. Kadash. Kadash. The blinds to the apostles and those great millstone. Peace and salutations also say Akim and during afflictions, making a court election sure. It's Brother Kabar. It's Brother Yitazaka. And we just back with another one, you know, touching on how this is a, a nightmare. So, Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect. Yahab Bashim Yahab Shah, Bashim Kakadash, Barakadam. It's all sister listeners who may hear this. You wanted to uh, kick this thing off? Uh, you, you, you do me one. Um, well, I want, we want to entitle this lesson, uh, this is a nightmare, you know, but I wanted you to just look up uh, one word, uh, look up the word nightmare for me real quick, just to get a little clarification on what that word is. You know? Okay, kind of, kind of. I just had to restart my computer. It's going to take a second. Okay, kind of, kind of, brother, kind of. Yeah, you know, you want me to just, uh, just bring out the preset real quick to so come back up? Kind of, sing this a little hard. Shalom, huh? Yeah, it's just going to take a second. Whatever you got. Okay. I'll just start out with a preset real quick. Okay, this um, Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. It says, But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliverer for a spoil and none said restore you know so and that's this uh the, the number one prison house is america man you know mm -hmm. this place <laughs> is this uh country you know known as america man which is actually uh actually babylon the great in the scriptures this is actually a prison man this is a confinement you know well you know you got a, a birth birth certificate number you know that you, you you're counted as cattle you know, I mean, it's like a social security number. You got a birth certificate. You know, you count this cattle. You know, uh, you're an employee, so to speak. Employee is just another word for slave. You know, so, um, you know, we're we're in prison, man. You know, I always, uh, you know, think about it like you gotta uh, go to work every day. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be there so you can pay your bills and survive. You know. You get a little bit of time outside of work, you know. It's like your, uh, it's like your uh, yard time, you know. <laughs> you get your, you get your meal to eat, you know what I'm saying. You gotta eat that fast, you know. Maybe get a little TV time, you know. It, it, it's just it, it's just straight up prison. It's a hellhole here, bro. You know. Mm -hmm. it, it's a nightmare. This is a complete nightmare, man. You know, because if you ever been to jail or uh prison like literal prison or jail man that's that's for real deal a nightmare man you know but that's what america is though <laughs> on the on, on a grand scale you know that's right up it's pulling up now you want me to go on google and get the definition or you want me to go on uh yeah 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 you'll grab it out of uh, google baba kasha kind of it's pulling up now Okay. You had a precept? To lock you. Um, you good. I was just looking at Leviticus 26. You know, that's like another Deuteronomy 28. It was something right. that, uh, yeah. kind of, kind of. It is. It was that's a verse that came in. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a verse I was just looking for. It's a lot. All right. Let me good, bro. go for real quick. You good, brother. A little while well and I'll find it. But you know about the, um, was it two days ago now? Uh, it was that girl. She got, she got, um, she got shot in her own, 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 uh, her own house. The brother, he did a video on that this morning. But um, yeah, it was another um, so-called black woman. She got shot by the cops. Oh, for real? Yeah, I didn't hear yeah. about that one. She left, she left her door open and... Um, Someone called the cops, and that was it. Damn. Yeah, the brother. Yeah, the brother Karaj just did a video on it earlier, but it happened like two days ago. 
Um, wow, yeah, I didn't hear about that one. That's 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 crazy. Right. So this is the Google definition of nightmare. It says a frightening or unpleasant dream. It says a terrifying or unpleasant, a very unpleasant experience or prospect. It says a person, thing, or situation that is very difficult to deal with. Mm. Hey, read that last part one more time. Yeah. For nightmare, it says a person, thing, or situation that is very difficult to deal with. Damn. So yeah, that's that's so that proves that this is a nightmare. I didn't even know it said that. You know, uh, a person or thing or situation that's difficult to deal with. It's very difficult to deal with. And this is a, a a situation that's very difficult to deal with, man. You know, you got our people. You know, just like the example you just brought out of the young lady. You know, who was killed in her own home. You know, you know here it is the the the, the so called people who are supposed to protect and serve you. You know, you got to worry about them killing you, man. You know, you got to, uh, you know, worry about your children, you know, getting uh, raised up in filth, man. You know, they, they, they're teaching your children how to masturbate in school, man. You know, you got to, uh, you know, they got forced vaccinations where, you know, they're pretty much forcibly uh, killing your children, man. You know, you know, you, you, you're you pretty much uh, subject to uh, nothing but uh, wickedness, man. You know, that's, that's, that's. That's that's hard to deal with, bro. You mm -hmm. know, that's right. Huh? Just line back on what you just said. This is a uh, Leviticus twenty six and verse sixteen. It says, "I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ag." Salakia. It says, "That shall consume the eyes and shall and Salakia, cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it." Mm. You know, just how we talking about just, you know, what I'm saying our seed, you know, that seed is a literal seed, you know, in right. particular cases, you know, it's a spiritual seed. But in this case, you know, you sow in your seed and it says your enemy shall shall eat it, basically consume, you know, it's basically, you know, you have kids and that like brother just brought out, you know, they bringing out particular um, curriculums where they, they teaching kids about just this filthiness and wickedness, you know, they 11 years old learning about just things that, like, hey, man, like, this is not something that kids should be learning, you know? Right, right. But that's just, hey, like, like you bring out, this is a nightmare, man. Yep, yep. You, um, you had some more on that? Um, now, that was it on that for now, but it was a particular one I was looking for. Um, you'll look up that word burning. I just want to see what it say for that. And that script you just pulled up. In Google, or you and me going blue letter? Yeah, on a blue letter. I just want to see what it says. Come on. Um, that was a big as 26 and 16. So burning, let me see. This is the burning act is uh, Strong's H, 6920. Kedakala. Kedakath. Well, that's in the Yiddish. It says, um, it says fever. Oh, fever. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, okay. it comes from uh, Strong. Now, 19 inflammation, uh, febrile disease, burning ag, uh, fever. Yeah. Mm. Hey, and they're they going to uh, all these uh, sexual transmitted diseases, man. You know, you can tie that in as well because. Uh, it was just an article. I don't know if you've seen it, but it said that uh, like uh, STDs are at a uh, pretty much a, a unprecedented, a, a unprecedented rate right now. You know, mm. like it's, it's it's alarming rate. It's like to a point where it's going to be an epidemic. You know, that's how many uh, you know sexual transmitted diseases out here down here in Atlanta. You know, uh, it was an article came out not too long ago. It was like uh, one in if I'm not mistaken, I know I, I want to say one in three or one in five of every persons down here has uh, herpes or AIDS. <laughs> That's Sick, crazy, bro. Just to go back in, I think it was actually a verse down in um, Leviticus 26 and 17. It says, and I will set my face against you and ye shall be slain before your enemies that they shall, they that hate you shall reign over you. 
and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Mm. You know, you know, scriptures talk about the wicked flee when no man pursueth. But ultimately, right. this is like, you know, no nobody's safe out here, man. This is a nightmare, man. You you can't you could just be chilling in your home and all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? A cop just breaking your home and that's it. You you just you know, we know how judgment works. But ultimately, right. that Edomite, that Edomite cop that shot that lady, she, hey man, he's gonna get judged as well, man. God, most definitely, most definitely, bro, most definitely. I'm gonna uh, read this uh, Isaiah 42 and 22 one more time. Then I want to just look up this word prison. I, you know, uh, let me read it one more time. It's Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver for a spoil and none said restore. You know, so and, and it's talking about uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian, man. You know, mm -hmm. we are all uh, snared in holes. We are all hid in prison houses, which we know, like that lesson you just did uh, not too long ago, you just did a lesson on there about how uh, the majority of the people incarcerated in America are so-called Negro, Latinos, mm -hmm. and Native Indians, man. You know, so literally they are actually hid in prison houses, you know, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I like to watch that uh, Beyond Scared Straight right. series, mm -hmm. you know, and they'll be going in the jails and the prisons. And the majority of the people that's in there are literally so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. Mm -hmm. You don't see no people mics in there, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right. So and at the same yeah. time, Salaki, they they doing most you of the crime, right. you know, you know, the wicked, right. they just they just wicked, man. So the fact that, right. you know, they got to. I don't know, you know, the numbers is all witchcraft, but it might be like 40% of them, which is probably inflated, but right. it's like way more than them percentage-wise who are doing, you know, these crimes, man. Right. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Like, I was on uh, World Star, you know what I'm saying, this morning, you know what I'm saying, I was just scrolling down, and they had, like, Edomites back to back to back to back doing all type of just sick perverseness, bro, you know, like raping their children, you know, raping, uh, their girlfriends, daughters, you know, uh, doing sick things to animals and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they, they really are criminals. They, they're the true criminals, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right. I... And, and, yeah. and that's a part of a, a, a nightmare. That's a situation difficult to deal with when you got those who are really doing the injustices and mm -hmm. uh, the wickedness. They, they escaping, but your people, you know, so you 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 gotta damn near do wickedness just to uh, survive here, and you 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 still catching it, you know. Mhm. Mm That's right. I I got that um prison in the blue letter. It says okay, uh, imprisonment, confinement, restraint. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this and we damn sure in confinement here, you know. Well, she an example of that. You gotta uh, buy a passport just to leave this country. You can't just leave this country freely, you know. You can't just leave here, you know. You got to uh, buy a passport to leave, you know. That's that's an example of being confined, man, and being restricted, you know. It ain't, uh, you can't even, well, you can't even serve the Lord your power and, and, and uh, freely here, you know. You can't serve the God of Israel here, you know what I'm saying. You you, you restricted from that, you know. And, mm -hmm. that's, and that's, uh, that's, that's, that's what we, that's, that's a nightmare, man. You know, that's a nightmare because really, ultimately, you know, that's uh, like being asleep. It's like if you sleep and then you have a dream, you can't stop that dream. And you you know, you, you just can hope you can wake up from it, you know. And, but so we're, you know, uh, in, a, in a, you know, a lot of our people in a sleep state, you know, and they just getting attacked, you know, while, while they sleep, you know. And that's, that's, that's horrible, man. And that's, that's what this place is, man, you know. I don't know. All right. I did have another, um, you know, if you could go, that's a whole lesson, but I did have a couple I want to bring out. If you don't, I know yeah, you got go something, though. No, you good. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Leviticus 26 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 37. It says, uh, And they shall fall one upon another, as it is were before a sword, when none pursueth, and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies. Mm. You know? We don't, we don't got no power in this place, man. You know? I mean, ultimately, you know what I'm saying? We was just talking on the way to camp how, like, you know what I'm saying? So-called, mainly so-called Negroes, how they treat treat each other, man. You know, when you when you uh, deal, you know, in the streets, you know, in the world and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Another man does something to you, then that's that's it. It's either him or you, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, so-called white man do something, and then you want to give him a hug. You know what I'm right. saying? But it's ultimately, hey, man, it's, it's, 
this whole chapter, but we know Hosea 4 and 6. You know, we just destroyed as a people, man. We just, like, um, if you see a, a video of, a, a, I believe it's an elephant, if you tie a rope around the elephant, you put it on the chair, the elephant is not even going to move. It's as if they, they just know they can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's where we are right now. We just <laughs> mentally destroyed, you know? And just to give us 38, it says, And ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And real quick, just to jump into 29, it says, And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall you eat. But, you know, that wasn't the, that wasn't the verse I was looking for. To log you. <laughs> just to jump down, verse 31, it says, And I will make your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries into desolation. And I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors. I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies, which dwell therein, shall be astonished at it. You know? And if you uh, Google the word ghetto, like the actual meaning to the word ghetto is a neighborhood where Jews live, you know? Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. Through the spirit. I, I just found it out the other day, yeah. Huh, huh. You know, just through the spirit. Like, that's basically where we are right now, man. Like, so called Black Latinos, Native Americans, like, the reservations for the, you know, for the tribe of Gad, you know what I'm saying? The Reubenites. You know, ultimately, we just, we just in the lowest state, man. And this is all part of, you know what I'm saying, the prophecies. All right, bro. All right. And then, uh, and then the script you uh, just brought out, when they say you should eat the uh, flesh of your sons and your daughters, you know, a lot of these Israelite uh, children be coming up missing, you know, yeah. and uh, these elites, they be actually uh, grinding these children up, man. And so you, you actually eating you know your own, uh, your, your 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 people. You know, child, your your ch the children of your people, and you're not even knowing it, man. You, you know, you you can actually your your son or your daughter can actually come up missing, and you know they can actually end up in the hands of these uh evil, uh wicked uh demons, man. You know, they can actually get grounded up as meat, and you be eating your own children, and you don't even know it, bro. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how that's how you know, you know that's how bad this is man you know nah, this is the worst case scenario man yeah yeah um let me let me uh i'm just since we on that i had a little bit i'm just bringing this out right now since we're touching on that uh food um touching on what uh, what say brother you say you're touching on what since we were touching on the, uh, this evil food that we eat, you know, okay, you know eating our own children. Um, what you got? Rabbit. Ezekiel? Uh, Daniel. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, Ezekiel. <laughs> yeah, he, you knew I was going to like you, bro. <laughs> okay. uh, what the hell am I talking about? Uh, yeah, Daniel, uh, man, Ezekiel 4 and 13. I don't know why I keep thinking Daniel. My father, bro. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 4, verse uh, 13. It says, and the Lord, Yahweh Shemel said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. I'm going to read verse 14. It says, then said I, uh, Ezekiel speaking, then said I, ah, Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, behold, my soul have not been polluted from my youth up. Even to now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came their abominable flesh into my mouth. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. You know, <laughs> I keep reading though. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astonished, astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquity. You know, so you know the heavenly Father, He actually put this on us for our iniquity, man. You know, he, we, we we were forced we were forced to eat, you know, pretty much shit, man. Because that's what dog is, you know. Right. It's literal, literal shit, you know. We're forced to eat that, man. You know, and uh, that's 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 harsh, man. You know, that's harsh, man. You know, that's that's a nightmare. You know, you can't even eat clean food, bro. 
you know, you, you, you're forced to eat dog out here, man. You know, you, you, don't even, you don't know what the hell you eat, man. You're more than likely eating a human carcass, man. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's proven that uh, most hot dogs got uh, human DNA in it, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, you had some bro. Um, yeah, I had one in Baruch three and eight. It said, um, "That's where I was gonna go. That's the spirit." The spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. It says, uh, "Baruch three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed mm -hmm. from our Lord Yahweh our power." You got it. Yeah, kind. So you know, we are yet this day in our captivity. Ain't man changed, man. All right, we we still in confinement, man. All right, well, you know, you'll be like, uh, well, you know, a lot of our people they believe I'm not in slavery no more. You, you, you you're still a slave. You you're subject to payments no more. So if you're not a slave, if you're not a slave, right now, quit working your job, okay? Uh, quit um, you know, um, quit having to uh go in and, and, and do for the so-called white man. Well, quit completely quit the system and see what happens, man. All right, see what happens, but. You you're not gonna make it, man. That that yeah. means you you can find you restricted. You 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 can find to to do uh what you don't want to do, man. All right. Who the hell want to work for the so-called white man just willingly? Well, you do got some of our people. They willingly want to do that shit. You know, like they don't have no problem with it. You know, but who willingly, you know, wants to uh, you know, send you want you want to send your children to these schools, man. To grow up and you know and, and learn the curriculum of, of, of the so-called white man to be a, a a better a better slave for him and his system, man. All right, who who, who really in their right mind would want to do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but if if so, if you really wasn't a slave, if you really wasn't a captive, you know, stop doing it then and see what's gonna happen for you. You know, right. you, you right. subject to it. Stop paying your payment. Stop stop paying your bills. Don't pay your light bill this month. Okay. Don't pay. Don't pay your gas bill. Don't 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 pay your uh your, your car insurance. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't pay your rent. Don't pay your mortgage. You know. Don't pay your taxes. Okay. And see what happens. You're gonna get your ass locked up and be on the street. Okay. Uh, that's right, Doc. And a lot of these camps, that's something that they don't push, man. They don't push that we get under these curses. You know, they they in that spirit of, you know, thinking that this is the kingdom, which they they're not saying, but you know what I'm saying. In the spirit, they just they don't believe in Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just like. You know what I'm saying? They not like, hey man, this is we we oppress people, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. The curses are still here, uh -huh. and it's evident. Ah, bro. Ah. Well, just like the uh, you know, the, the the brother who was at the camp yesterday, he didn't even know what Jacob's trouble was, man. Right. You know. I got a, I got one in Second Ezra six. Go ahead, brother. Um, this is Second Ezra six and verse fifty-seven. It says, and now, O Lord, behold. These heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. You know, that was really the point. You know what I'm saying? That we, we were delivered into the hands of our enemies, as uh, Deuteronomy 28 68 says. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? There's no new thing under the sun, man. You know, this is modern day Egypt, which means bondage. You know what I'm saying? So we still yet this day in our captivity, as you brought out in uh Baruch the third chapter. Uh, uh, yep. uh let me get Revelations eleven real quick since you said it, because I was thinking that, you know, that you know, because our people say, you know, well we not this is not Egypt. Well, you know, which which Egypt, like you said, means bondage, you know. We're 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 in spiritual uh Egypt right now. You know, Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty five, sixty eight. When they say uh, I will bring them again into Egypt with, with, with ships, which we we ain't never we we didn't go into Egypt twice, you know, and where we we you you wouldn't even need like you I think you brought that point out you wouldn't even need to be brought with yeah. ships from Israel to Egypt you can walk you know so that that they don't make no sense you know what I'm saying so it's obviously speaking about America because we was brought over here in ships you know uh, let me get this this Revelation chapter eleven. Verse eight, and their dead bodies shall lie in the in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. 
And this is why our Lord was crucified at, man. All right. The, 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 the uh, image of Caesarea Borgia, man. You know? Because mm -hmm. cru crucified means to be X'd out, man. All right. They X'd out the image of our Lord, uh, Yahweh Shah, over here, man. You got the image of uh, the, 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 uh, the so called white man as being the Messiah, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's, a, uh, and that's an example of uh, slavery, man. That's, that's, that's an example of uh, captivity, man. All right. When you forced to bow down and, and, and serve this uh, Edomite, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Right. Then on top of that, they they uh this America is all about uh anti Messiah behavior, you know, like the uh elder uh Yashwamba always going to, you know. Is is this this place is full of anti Messiah behavior. They're completely mm -hmm. adverse into the ways of the scriptures here mm -hmm. in America. Man. And that's how our Lord was crucified, you know. And that's what our, our people uh are, are are dead, you know, because they don't have that uh that life, their breath of life, which comes from the word, you know. So that's that, and it says with the, the land that's uh, spiritually called Egypt and, and, and Sodom, you know, which yesterday you, you can see why this is spiritually Sodom, man. You know, you got dudes walking around here with, 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 with blue haircuts and, and oh, tight spandex jeans on and, uh, you know, see through tops, man. Right. You know, this is spiritually Sodom, man. You know, so this lets you know that this is, you know, we, we are still in captivity, you know, and this is a place of captivity, you know. Mhm. Mm did you uh did you have one brother um well just yeah i guess kind of just land back um kind of goes a little bit into the topic you had um you felt you talking to me about but not to go too much but just to kind of see how this place is spiritually there's um like revelations you know the dead body shall lie in the street this is the ephesians 2 and 1 it says and you have he quickeneth who are dead and trans it's like it and trespasses and sins, you know, because we know sin is transgressing the law and the wages of sin is death. You know what I'm saying? So this is this place is just death, man. You know, like that's how we know this is spiritual Sodom and Egypt, you know, and ultimately this is why that we're in this nightmare, you know, because we transgress the law, you know. But yeah, that was just yep. a quick point. Ah, ah. Uh, okay, let me just. Oh, I got a, just a quick one. This uh, Psalm chapter 107, verse 39. Again, they are menaced and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. You know, and that's 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 what's going on right now. We we brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. That's all this place is about. What well, that's in the curses, man. All right, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, man, tell you that we was going to go through affliction and, and sorrow, man, and, and, and oppression, man, and, and be brought low, man. All right. The brother, brother left. He probably going to join back in. Salakia. Yeah. But shout out to everybody tuning in, man. We just touching on how this place is a nightmare. I'm gonna let the brother join in, but I got a pre I wanna bring out in Hebrews. Yeah, so lucky, bro. I don't know what, how that happened. You know? I'm like, damn, bro, you, you done left? You got up in the <laughs> Yeah, it just kicked me all out of here, man. You know? Nah, yeah, my fault, bro. I had a quick one. Okay, go ahead, brother. This is in Hebrews 13 and verse 14. It says, For we, Salakia, for here we have no continuing city, but we mm. seek to, Salakia, so we seek one to come. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's like a bad dream. Like you, you know what I'm saying. You trying to get up out of here, man. We literally trying to wake up. You know, I was actually gonna bring that out. You know, but you know what I'm saying. We we trying to get up out this place, man. We trying to wake up from this from this nightmare. You know, because this isn't this isn't our rest. You know, I could, I could get that, but this isn't no place to be uh, thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Like they they used to talk about the American dream. Like nah, this is the, this is a nightmare, man, for our people. <laughs> We're trying to get wake up, wake up from this this dream, man. You know, this is like uh, you know, when you be sleep and uh, they call it the devil be riding your back, man. You you be trying to get up out of that, bro. You ain't trying to, you know, cause I don't know if you ever had that, bro. You know, like it feel like them demons be on you, bro, while you sleep and you can't wake up. You know uh, yeah, I used to know. Yeah, that's that's like that's the worst, bro. You you be feeling like you down there finna die, cause you can't breathe but you can think. You know what I'm saying? You could think you like, oh shit, I'm literally um 
I, I can't get up though. Like you stuck in it. You know what I'm saying? That's right. that's how this place is. Like you just stuck. You can think and move, but you can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't wake up out of it. Like you be trying to get up out of that. That's that's in similar to this place. You know? Right. Right. That's right. My life's journey. That's that's right. And just to land back, uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we would believe, mm. you know? And that, that's what salvation is, man. We try and get delivered out of, out of this hell, man, out of this nightmare. Kind, bro. Kind. Beautiful spirit. Uh, okay. I got this in uh, Hebrews, I mean, it's like uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 6. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled, you know. So uh, the Heavenly Father said, wickedness has exceedingly polluted this whole place, man. You know, man, bro, it, it over, well, this place is literally polluted. Over 90% of the mm -hmm. earth's air is uh, pretty much tainted and polluted. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's an example of this place mm -hmm. being uh, uh, wickedness, uh, completely um uh flood in this place man this mm -hmm. place being exceedingly polluted you know right. um you, could you get that word exceedingly love in the uh google i don't know if you're gonna be able to pull us in the uh parking right. exceedingly uh, let me see yeah um it says extremely to a great extent Extreme to a great extent. Huh. Yeah, so this place is to a great extent of wickedness, man. All right, a great extent of wickedness, man. All right. You got a, a man coming to your uh, a job, you know, which is really a, literally a woman, but he's a man in these standards. So you got to call him uh, sir, all right, and, and to him, but you know this a woman, you know? Yeah, that's how, man. <laughs> like, how, 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 can, how wicked can this place be, man? You know, you literally, if your child literally feels that they are not uh, a boy or a girl no more, they could just go behind your back and get a sex change and just come home and have a sex change and there's nothing you can do about it, bro. You know, that's 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 this that's the example of this place being exceedingly wicked, man. You know, you know the hurtful works being fulfilled. It can't it can't, bro? It can't get no worse than this, bro. It, it, if it gets any worse than this, you literally. Matthew 24 and 22, no place going to be saved, you know? That's right. Dude. I mean, what, what, where can you go next? Get Like, where can you go next from this? Right, right. Where, where do we go from here, you know? For <laughs> real. <laughs> right. You don't get no more wicked, bro. Uh, did, did you ask something, bro? Uh, no, you got it. All right. I'm going to get this in Isaiah 60. And, uh... Let me see. I'm going to start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me start from the top. It's Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. So it says, Arise and shine. Wake up out of sleep, man. All right. The light is come to get you up out of this nightmare, man. Which the light that's going to get us out of this nightmare is uh that salvation that you were speaking about in Romans the 13th chapter. You know, Romans 13 and 11, when it say, uh, our, uh, now is the t high time to wake up out of sleep because uh, our salvation has come. Mm -hmm. You know, which that salvation is comes through our Lord Yahweh Shah, which He is the light. You know, He He gonna get you out of this nightmare. He gonna get you out of sleep. You know, yeah. it says, "Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah is risen upon thee." Yes, yeah, so the the glory of the uh, of the Lord is risen upon us, man, to get us about this 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 nightmare. It says, verse two: For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. And that's that uh, exceed, exceeding wicked uh, pollution of, of this world. You know, it says, but the Lord Yahweh shall shall rise upon thee, and His glory shall be seen upon thee. All right. It's, uh, and, but the Lord Yahweh Shema uh, Yahweh glory shall shine upon us, man. You know, and we we gonna get the hell up out of this. Uh, you know, out, out, out of this difficult situation, which which means nightmare. You mm -hmm. know, we're gonna get up out of this gross darkness. All right, this this uh place that's exceedingly polluted, polluted and wicked, man. You know, mm -hmm. through through the through the through the glory and the majesty of Yahweh Shimashad, through through the light, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, that's 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 
this this place has got gross darkness on it, bro. Gross dark. This place is completely dark and sick, bro. You know, like you know, at camp yesterday, like you know, it was a it was an eye opener at how wicked. You know, we already know how wicked this place is, but when you just be hands on in it, you know, you see these people mind states. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, like this. It's for real deal wicked, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like gross, grossly dark, you know? Right. This is uh, Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You know? You were just talking about how this place is, you know, literally polluted, you know? But it's spiritually polluted as well. It's like heavy, heavy demons out here, man. You know, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So, you know, I mean, that's that's just the way of the world at this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like this this place is, hey, man, there's nothing, you know, a cleansing agent would be either water or fire. You know, most how you, how, all right, he, he already sent water upon this place. So, you know, he, he, had, he had that covenant that he ain't going to do that. But, hey, man, fire, that's what's coming to this place, man. That's that's how this place got to be, uh, be cleansed. You know, it says because it is polluted, you know. And ultimately, yeah, this is a this is a nightmare, man. That's why we have to arise and depart from this place, you know. Not literal either, you know. A lot of um, a lot of brothers want to, you know, touch on, you know, a flee a flee doctrine, you know, just to to uh, to, to depart, you know, from from Babylon, so to speak. But we already know that's that's not this thing's talking about, man. Right. Right. Um. Let me get this. That was that was it on there, bro. Come. Uh, this uh, Proverbs chapter 12 and 26 it says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor but the way of the wicked seduces them you know so uh, you know the righteous is uh, Jacob you know that's the nation of Israel you know the nation of Israel was, was made to be excellent man you know was made to be superior you know they was made to be righteous man alright plain man dwelling in tents you know which, which really goes into uh, a, a, a morally, a, a morally innocent man dwelling in the tabernacles of Yahweh Shemel Shad. You know, that's really what that means when you say a plain man dwelling in tents. You know, you say, you know, we they say uh, the, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Who is our neighbor? Well, that's these heathens, man. Our start, especially the so-called white man who is actually the wicked. You know, we're more excellent than him. It says, but the way of the wicked seduces him. But the ways of the wicked seduce him. All right, so you got our people into all this uh, wicked activity, man. You know, all this uh, sick perverseness, man. You know, all this uh, profanity, man. You know, you know which 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 pro profane means to be crooked, man. You know, profanity is just uh, uh, per perverseness is outside the temple of Yahweh Shemashat. You know, and our people have been uh, seduced, which seduced means to call call be uh, cause the air. You know, so our people being caused the air from the way of, of righteousness, man. You know, and that's a nightmare, man. You know, because uh, anything uh, anything outside of the way of righteousness is death. That's why I'm gonna jump down to 28 because they go into it. It's uh in the same chapter, Proverbs 12 and 28. It says, "In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death." You know, so it says, "Uh, in the way of righteousness is life," which is no righteousness here. This this place is completely exceedingly wicked and polluted, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's no life here. There's nothing but death here, man. You know, mm -hmm. it says, and in the pathway thereof is no death, but it, so it's nothing but death around her because there's no righteousness out here, man. All right, mm -hmm. you got literally these people celebrating Halloween. That's the day of the dead. Mm -hmm. That's the day of death, and you're you're actually celebrating it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that let, this lets you know, like, there's no, uh, uh, this place is full, full of death here, you know. It's a complete nightmare, complete darkness, man. Mm -hmm. right, uh, even these Christians, man, in these in these churches, they celebrating Halloween. They, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing little Halloween events at, at a church. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Because there ain't no life in there. Ain't no oh. life in there. That's right. Uh, you had something else, bro? No, you got it. Uh, it's Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28 and uh, 28 and 29. Um, it says, 
Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just I start from 29. This uh Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grope at no day as the blind grope of in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. And that's an example of uh it being no no life here, man. All right, because our people gro groping at noonday, man. You know, <laughs> you 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 it's, it's 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 bright as hell outside, but you're still groping. You know, mm -hmm. it says. As 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 if as you grind as the blind grope within darkness, man, can't see a damn thing, man, and that, and, and that's completely what's going on right now, cause they're in that sleep, dead, uh, state of of, of of that nightmare taking hold. It says, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Our people ain't prospering in any way, man. You know, we ain't, what 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 are we prospering? In? Playing basketball, all right, right. Being being uh spitting the hot sixteen, you know. It says. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. And we don't have no savior down here. Who the hell is going to save the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians outside of uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, man? All right. Well, who, who Jesus Christ going to save him? That, that's who going to save him? The hell, why, why he ain't been saved from then? What the hell you talking about? Verse 30, it says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. And that's, and that's real, bro. You know, you, 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 bro, if you find a virgin out here, that's going to be, damn, whoo, I'm talking about, that's like a, that's like a, a for real deal needle in a haystack, bro, you know, trying to find a, a, a virgin woman out here, man, you know, because mm -hmm. a, a woman becomes your wife once, once you have sex with her, once, 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 once you, uh, take her virginity, man, mm -hmm. you know, so you, you, you betroth his wife, you know, um, and, she she uh go have sex with another man, man. All right, mm -hmm. that's not yours no more. That's not your wife no more. You know, and that, that's that's a heavy curse, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can't you can't even have a woman for yourself, man. You know, it says, "Thou shalt build in house, and thou shalt not dwell therein." Yeah, and we well I tell you about that in Psalms the hundred thirty seven chapter about how uh uh Edom said, "Raise it, raise it to the foundations thereof." All right, they burnt down all our temples, man. All right, and all our uh, dwelling places in the land of Jerusalem. All right, now you got these uh damn nasty ass gutter uh gutter rats over there in our land. You know, dwelling in, dwelling in our land. You know, it says, "Well, look, we built America. Right. <laughs> we we built up these this, this America into the places that, that we in. We you got Edomites living in all the suburban neighborhoods. All right, you got." Damn, uh, Ishakar, they be building up all these houses and all these uh different uh dwelling places. You you're not gonna find no so-called Mexican in there, man. You know, right. it says, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Uh, let me read the thirty. I'm gonna read the thirty-three. It says, thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass, thine ass shall violently be taken away from thee before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto other people, and thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. You know, that's, that's what's going on. Our children are literally in the hands of the enemy, man. All right, they literally in the hands of the enemies. You, if you don't have, if your children don't have a uh, vaccination by the time they four or five, when it's time for them to start going to school, if you don't get them a vaccination, they can lock your ass up, man. You know, or, or if you if you uh, discipline your children, which the scriptures tell you, spare not the rod. You don't, you you're supposed to uh, discipline your children, but if you discipline your children and Esau find about it find out about it, you will get your ass locked up, man, you know, well, a woman, if she, uh, fit, uh, wants to leave you and take the children, she can take your children away from you, man, you know, and you just got to sit there and, and watch for it, what she tell you in the scriptures, if, uh, oh, oh, the man's supposed to, uh, the man's supposed to uh, take the children, man, if, if, if you get divorced, you know, but that's, that, that's not here, all right, you know, well, you got to, uh, it, if if they want, they'll take your kids and uh the child protect, protective services, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's longer for you know longer for your kids all day long. It says, 
the fruit of thy land and all thy, thy labors, thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest eat, knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. And that's what's going on. All right, that's a complete nightmare, man. You know, that's a complete nightmare. What? Let's read 34. It says, So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. And you go into that word mad, it means crazy. You know, our people are for real deal crazy out here, bro. Like, Jake be throwing it off out here, bro. You know, because look, look what they're not saying. That's like you just consistently keep seeing, you keep having nightmares every time you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You wake up, you're going to be thrown off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, well, I ain't going back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, <laughs> that's that's how Jake is out here, you know? They throw the hell off, man. Right. Just like Micah 2 and 10, you know? So I destroy you with a, a sword destruction. Con. <laughs> Con. Yo. But that, yeah, that was in on that. You know, really, you know, like you said, that, that whole chapter, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's it right there. Right there, right you, know? There. you know what I'm saying. That's what we going through, man. This is right. It, 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 this is a sign. You know what I'm saying for our people, man. Like this is something for generation to generation that we're gonna have to be dealing with. You know until, you know what I'm saying we get delivered out of this place. Kind of brother. Um, yeah, but that you was, got something, bro? Um, no, nah, you got. It. All right, I got this in uh, Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. You know, and that's what's going on for real, man. All right, well, really, the real child is Esau Edom, man. All right, I'll tell you about that in Job, the 30th chapter. You know, he that is younger than I have me in derision. Because ultimately Esau is younger than uh, Jake. All right, he he uh, Esau wasn't a part of the bloodline of the sons of God, man. Uh, Esau came through uh, Esau's uh, Esau's uh, seed uh, came through uh, through through the serpent, you know, which uh, the righteous dwelt before the serpent dwelt, you know. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, he is younger than us, but. Uh, it, really, he carries himself as a child. Esau is a child, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, Esau be a grown, be grown ass people acting like damn kids, man. You know, right. being damn kids out here, man. You know, it says, "As for my people, children are their oppression, and really, the children oppress you, man. You know, because mm -hmm. you uh, child right. support. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to be subject to them. What you about to say, y'all? No, no, you, yeah, you got. I was gonna land back too. Oh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And um, as it is, slack here, just touching on the fact that um, it says children are the are the oppressors. You know how you said basically um, these other nations they're they're basically younger than us. You know if you go into Exodus four, and twenty two it says, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Woo! So ultimately, Israel, you know what I'm saying, we're 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 the firstborn. So these other nations are are younger than us. You know what I'm saying. So these children. They are oppressors. <laughs> Just wanted yeah, to land back. Precept. Come. Precept. Uh, it's uh, Isaiah 3 and 12. It says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. And that's another thing, too. Women yeah. rule, rule over uh, our, our, our men out here, man. Jeremiah 31 and 22 tell you about that. All right. Well, uh, I have created a new thing in earth uh, for a woman to uh, compass a man, you know, you know, like I was uh, with this demon, of course, the other day, you know, and uh, we was going into the uh, Applebee's or whatever, and she just completely stopped. Like, uh, I know you're not going to open up the door because I, 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 I mean, I know you're not going to op not open the door for me because I was going to walk in on her ass without opening the door. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm not standing to open no damn door, you know, but that's that's an example of women ruling over you. You, you don't open the door for, for her, you know, uh, it's going it, to, it'll, it'll cause a whole big uh, mishap out here, man, you know? Um, and, and then you, we ain't even got to go into all the, the reasons why women rule over men, you know what I'm saying? Just know that that's 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 the truth, you know? Or, you know, or you're going to get your ass put in the doghouse, so to speak, huh. you know? Yeah, if you, if you jump down to 16, it kind of goes into it. Oh, yeah, con. <laughs> con. You going to read down? 
Yeah, yeah, you got, you got. I was gonna jump to uh, five, but you can read it, bro. Go ahead. In Isaiah three and uh, sixteen, it says, "Moreover, the Lord Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet." You know, and if you go into that word haughty, you know that's just like prideful. You know what I'm saying? Stainfully proud. Be proud, right? And this is they're walking. This is with stretched forth neck. So just you know what I'm saying? Like in that movie Lion King, like the hunting lions was walking. They like amongst the other animals, they just got their heads up. Like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's just how you know what I'm saying. That that's that that's that spirit. You know what I'm saying? They they don't got they just shame. They they ain't got no shame, man. Right, right. Yep. Uh, back in uh, 12, it says, O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Because a woman, she ain't got no no business leading. All right. A, a woman ain't got no business leading nothing, man. All right. But, you know, uh, when, women are in, in uh, positions of power here, man. You know, they, you know, you got women leaders, man. Well, what they consider Cardi B as one of the leaders of the, of the nation of Israel, bro. That, just that right there. That's, that's. <laughs> You so you Cardi B is leading somebody, you know. Mm. That is that serious? Are we serious? Uh, it's a nightmare, man. <laughs> wow, this uh, in the same chapter. I'm jumped up five. You guys, I'm saying, like you, bro. You got. Oh, uh, this is Isaiah three and five. It says, "And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor." The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. And that's what's going on out here, man. All right. You got the the the, the prophet the, the prophets get treated like shit. You got niggas like that nigga who came up yesterday with a cigar, man. You know, just just coming up just like he just I read the Bible uh back and forth, you know, just behaving himself against the honorable nigga. You not out here on the highways and the byways prophesizing uh for for your how about shot. What the hell you behaving proudly for, you know? Or you know, you got uh, the, the the child uh, behaving proudly against the uh, parents, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you know the, the, the child will tell the parent what the hell to do, man. All right, what the hell they gonna do, man? You mm -hmm. know, that's that's what, what the hell kind of message this, man? You know, right? Yeah, you just brought out how you know a child could go ahead and change their whole gender. You know what I'm saying? The parent can't do nothing about it. You know, if they do something, then they can and uh, they get in trouble. Huh? <laughs> yep, that's, that's wild, bro. You know, wild, bro. Uh, I know we're probably running out of time. I got, I got some more, of course. You know, but you know, we'll just get whatever we can. This in uh, Nehemiah chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. It says, "Well, let me start at twenty-six. It says, nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee." And cast thy law behind their backs, and slew the prophets which testified against them, to turn them to thee, and they wrought great provocations. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them, and in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest from heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies, thou gave gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore, leftest thou them in the hand of their, the, the, them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according, uh, according to thy mercies. Uh, God, verse 29 it says, and testified against them that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law, yet they dealt proudly and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them, and withdrew the shoulder and hardened their neck and would not hear. All right. Um, so, pretty much, Yahabashim, if you keep on reading down, it'll go into it, but pretty much, uh, that that led into uh that that led into uh the heavenly father taking away our uh our our saviors you know you know give but not, uh he stopped giving us uh those those mercies you know because uh he he continued to do that but 
He was just like, no, I'm not going to do it no more, you know? And that's mm -hmm. why we're just stuck in this position, you know? Right. But I don't know. I, I think uh, one of the... Yeah, it was a question. Uh, yeah, I had a question. I'm not... He said, uh, uh, sure. that's a law? But, um, what, what you uh, talking about? Uh, you got one, bro? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroys the heart. Yeah. Right now, land back, we oppress people right now. You know what I'm saying? We already talked about uh, Deuteronomy, how, how we're going to be smited with, with madness. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of just an another example. You could just say how, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're mad because we're oppressed, you know? And that's, that's what a wise man would be, you know, they would be mad. So whether you're, uh, you know, smited with madness in the sense you're just, you're just, you know, through, you know what I'm saying? Destroyed for lack of knowledge, or you could be mad in the sense of just being, being oppressed. Either way, right. you know, that's just basically where we are as a people. Right, right. Oh, yeah, that's part of uh, particular laws. You, you, you're more familiar with that, right? It's, it's basically the law, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not for sure if it's in all uh, 50 states, but I know, uh, like, in some uh, some states, I think California, one of them, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on it, but I'm I'm, I'm sure about it being legal and uh, uh, literally being a law in some states. If, you're, if your child wants to uh, change their gender, you know, behind your back without your without your consent, they can do it, you know. That's crazy, man. That's hey, oppression makes a wise man mad. If that don't make you mad, then you ain't wise. God, bro. Uh, that's right, brother. Uh, this uh, Ezekiel twenty-two and twenty-nine. It says, "The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery, and have vexed the poor and needy. Yeah, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. You know, and uh." That's, that's, that's what's going on out here, man. You know, the, the, the people of the land, they use depression and exercise robbery, man. You know, it's, it's, that's, that's, all, that's all they bring forth on our people. They rob from us. They take all our adventures. They steal from us. They oppress us, you know, in all type of manners, you know, devise uh, and, and all type of wicked devices towards us, man. You know, and, you know, and, and they take from the poor and needy because we're the poor and needy. All right, we're. Why are we poor and needy? Why? Because you have Hashem Yashah has taken away our saviors and our and, and our mercies, man. You know, and that's our power source. We don't have our power source, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so, and, and that's what they tell you about that in the Book of Lamentations. You know, uh, they all, all that pass by, clap the hand at thee and wag the tails and say, this is the day that we looking for. You know, you know, uh, the, the Lord, that power, he's not with them no more. Let's, let, let's take them and do what we want to do to them. And that's what these nations do, man. You know, they set up shop in, the, in in these ghettos, like you said. You know, put down weave shops in uh in, in uh liquor stores and uh mm -hmm. gas stations. You know, and, you know uh, Esau he come in there like you know it's a proven fact that the uh, CIA and the federal gov government was dropping uh, guns off in Chicago mm -hmm. and crates and, and just dropping them off like by mm -hmm. by by the thousands, bro. In Chicago, man, you know, mm -hmm. letting niggas kill each other, man. You know. Uh -huh. You, know, you got our people that be like, well, you know, our people kill each other. Well, you know, it, who, who who really killing somebody? The nigga who making the guns or the niggas who shooting the guns? You know, right? Jake be thinking small minded as hell, man. Did they make the gun? Come on, shit, shalom. Yeah, man. That's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Esau, he he he. Not only he created the gun, he created the the, the nigga. You know what I'm saying? This is all by design. He created. You know what I'm saying? That destroyed state that our people are in. You know what I'm saying? To even be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, bro. Kind of. Yeah, man. Uh, I got a few more, bro. I don't know how long we got left. I'm just trying to get these left. You got one, bro? No, you got it. Uh, this uh Jeremiah chapter. Yeah, we back. So lock here. They got that limit, you know. You can't be uh, live for too long. They just cut it off. Waiting on the brother to get back, and we're going to get back in there.
Yeah. Um, I was in uh, Jeremiah 31 and uh, 22. It says, uh, it's Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. You know, and that's, that's what's going on out here, man. The woman has compassed the man, man. All right. You know, the, 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 the woman is uh, pretty much exalted above the man out here, man. You know, she she uh, she's put on the pedestal, man. You know, and the man, you know, they pretty much not looked at as, as, as nothing, man. You know, it's like, especially man of the Lord, man. You know, they, they low, man. You know, you got these uh, haughty uh, whores, man. They, they talk shit about the man of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, the brother yesterday, you know, he had said something to the little chick or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And she just looked like, yeah, you, 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 you what you, a, you a Bible teacher? You know, like nigga, you ain't nothing. You know, like that's 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 an example of the woman compassing the man. You know, a, a man don't even supposed to have to holler at these females, man. You know, you ain't supposed to have to uh, holler at her, man, and court her, man. She's supposed to do that to you. You know, but that's that's. That's an example of, of, of how much of a nightmare this place is, man. You know, man, he gotta uh, he gotta go through hell just to get some box out here, man. You know, cause the woman she got pussy power, you know. So that's, that's uh, you know, that's uh, that's a new thing in the earth, man. You know, and that's 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 harsh, you know. Right. Scriptures talk about. I mean, this thing's about order, man. Most is about order. You know, he's about. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and then there's Yahweh Shah, and then there's the man and the woman. You know what I'm saying? So if you put things out of order, then, you know what I'm saying? It just brings everything, it brings chaos. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what Esau loves. Right, bro. Right. You know. I'm not sure your question. How much you say the person that, that, that shoots the gun? But yeah, man. Ultimately, I was actually going to get Isaiah 14, but I'm, I'm going to just get that a little later. You got something? Uh, I was trying to read her question. Or... I believe the order is wrong in the household. Yeah, according to the scriptures, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, the man and the woman. The woman's supposed to be a subjection to the man. But the woman didn't have to come holler at, 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 your, at your man. <laughs> Responsibility. You, know, you know, that's just an example of, you know, how, you know, you know, uh, things have been turned upside down. I tell you then in Isaiah the 26th chapter, you know, for uh, uh, surely uh, your things are turning upside down should be esteemed as the potter's, potter's clay, you know, because things have been turned upside down in this society. So, you know, it's like, it's hard to imagine, you know, mm -hmm. in this world that being true, you know, because, you know, you 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 never lived that way. You never seen things been in order. This place is completely out of order. So you can imagine things being in order. You know that seems like so you know far far fetched. You know. Mhm. Mm I got a quick one. Just a little off topic, but just to kind of get it. This is uh, right. Genesis twenty four, and I'm gonna just start at verse. Uh, I'm gonna just get to the point. Verse sixty three. It says, "And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the uh, eventide." And he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is that, that walketh into the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. And uh, verse 67 says, And Isaac brought her into his, his mother Sarah's tent. And took Rebecca, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Mm, that was beautiful, bro. That's just one example of how this thing, you know, in, in order is how this thing works. You know what I'm saying? You know, if a um, if a aqua, you know what I'm saying? If she's a virgin, you know what I'm saying? She carries herself a certain way. She sees a man that she 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 wants to um to be in subjection with. You know what I'm saying? This is how this thing works. You know what I'm saying? It could go ultimately either way, but. Ultimately, there's going to be order within the household. You know, that's how 
that's how this thing's is set up, man. Uh, uh, yeah, that was that was a good good precept, bro. Um, uh, I got this. You, you got anything else? No, nah, that was it. Uh, this uh, Amos chapter seven verse seventeen. It says, uh, "Therefore, thus said the Lord, you know, about shot, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land." Oh, you you can get that, bro. Oh, you got. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so it, it said. Uh, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shah, thy wife shall be in harlot in the city, man. You know, and that's that's what's going on. Cause just how you just brought out um in uh what that was Genesis twenty fourth chapter, right? Huh. Yeah, how uh Isaac had uh took um uh, Rebecca into the right. tent. Yeah, he took Rebecca into the tent and she became his wife, you know, which which proves that it ain't no big marriage ceremony. You know what I'm saying? You it didn't say he got down on one knee and gave her a ring. You know what I'm saying? And calm, then they calm. went before the altar and they, you know what I'm saying? Right. He was in the ring bearer in the tent. Right. <laughs> God, you know what I'm saying? So what, what, what did they go in the tent and do, you know, to become married? You know, I mean, it was mm -hmm. six marriage, of course, you know. So, but, you know, so they let you know that it said that wife should be a harlot in the city. How is she being a harlot in the city? Because, uh, you know, she's been taken you know, uh, by multiple men. You know, multiple men been running in her, man. You know, she done made multiple men wives, man. You know, she she a harlot, man. All right, once you once you sleep with any man outside of your husband, you you are now you a harlot, man. You know, you 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 you've been defiled with multiple rods, man. You know, and that's that's majority of these women, bro. Majority of these women that slept with tens. 50s, 20s, 100s, some thousands of men, bro. That's, that's, you know, that's wild, you know. It says, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. That's what's going on in the streets. You know, you got, like, uh, Laquan McDonald, McDonald, that uh, young young man who was shot in uh, Chicago, you know, uh, by the police. You know, uh, you know uh, these gangbangers, so to speak, you know, uh, Niggas arguing over, you know, random stuff and killing each other, man. You know, well, that young lady that I posted on my uh, page, you know, who got uh, shot by the straight bullet in our house, man. You know, that's, that's you know, uh, our sons and our daughters falling by the sword because the modern day sword is the gun, man. And it, it, it's, it's a, uh, and thy land shall be divided by line and thou shalt die in a polluted land and Israel shall surely go forth into captivity forth in this land. This land is completely polluted. We've been going into that pretty much the whole lesson, man. And our people be just dying in the streets out here, man. You know? right. Uh, you had something, brother? Um, yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and verse 2. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them and bring them to their place in the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, the servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. You know, so we already brought out how the, the, the children rule over them. You know, the, the women, um, they're, they're oppressing the men, you know, so ultimately... Mm -hmm. You know, in the kingdom, it's going to be it's going to be a perfect order. You know, these nations are going to be our possessions. You know, and as we also bring out, you know, women they're going to be a perfect subjection. They're going to be, you know, what I'm saying they're our pressures now, but you know, we're going to rule over them as well. Time, brother. Time. Huh. Uh, that's yeah. It's all about repentance. That's right. You know. This uh, that that was. That was it. On, that was it on that, bro. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I was just uh, replying to the to the uh, to the comment. Yeah. Oh, kind, 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 kind. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was a good precept, though, bro. That was a good precept. Um, uh, just uh, Habakkuk chapter one, verse. I start from three. It says, "Why dost thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me." 
and there are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceed them. You know, that, and that's what's going on out here. The wicked has uh, compassed about the righteous, man. You know, so therefore, wrong judgment uh, proceed them. Because you got the wicked sitting in the seats of uh, of judges, man. You know, and, and that, that, that makes uh, the wrong judgment go forth. You know, mm -hmm. it says... Well, just like that, uh, that judge, you know, gave uh, that that uh, wicked Edomite woman uh, ten years, man. You know, that's wrong judgment proceeding, man. Right. All right. Ten years. See, hug. Yeah. God. <laughs> it says, "Behold, yea, among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work and work in your days, which they will not believe, though it be told you. For lo, out." I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which uh, the modern day Chaldean is the, uh, the, the so called white man and white woman, you know, uh, the Edomites. It says, which shall march through the bread of, of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs, i.e., America. <laughs> it says, they are terrible and dreadful, their judgment and their dignities. Dignity shall proceed of themselves. Yeah, they, they are terrible and dreadful, man. All right. They they, they are, uh, <laughs> you know, just check their track record, man. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the people that's over us. These are the people that's judging us, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's a nightmare. You got, like you were saying earlier, you got the ones who actually committing the crimes uh, mm -hmm. as the judges. <laughs> you know, you got the actual criminals who need to be uh, getting penalized for criminal activity the ones who doing the penalizing for the criminal activity. That's crazy, you know. <laughs> she said just woke and didn't want to be sexual with that white woman anymore, so she went and killed him. Yeah, man. That's what I mean, yeah. I I I'll apply uh Sarah to twelve chapter that says never trust thine enemy. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I'm not gonna deal with these with these heathen this heathen, um, especially Esau, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, you know what I'm saying? That's another another topic, you know what I'm saying? But just dealing with Esau, period, you know what I'm saying? Like the you know, book of Sirach the 12th chapter says, not to set thyself um, by them, you know what I'm saying? We ain't supposed to be, be even close to them, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, hey, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you've got that serpent, uh, not, you know, not to butcher it, Salaki, let me just get that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that's what these coons is out here doing, man. They they set themselves they set themselves up, man. This uh, Sirach chapter twelve and verse um, verse thirteen. I'm gonna just give verse twelve. It says, um, "Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith." Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beasts? You know? Um, yeah, so that's the point. You know what I'm saying? You lay in that bed, you sleep in it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, hey, that's, that's part of it. Ultimately, uh, we in a place now where you, you, you can't trust anything out here. You can't trust women of our nation. You know, they're, they're wicked as hell as well. You know what I'm saying? So um, we just threw out here, man. Like we saying, this is a nightmare, man. There's no way, there's no escape in this place, man. Unless uh, we we got that uh got that mercy. Tom, you said that's why Doctor uh, Doctor Kuhn was wrong. We need to stay uh, segregated. That's right, man. You know, shy he came to separate us. You know what I'm saying? He ain't come for for peace. He came, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, Salaki just wanted to kind of get that point. No, you good, bro. Uh, you got something else, bro? No, you got it. Okay, this uh Jeremiah twelve and uh this is Jeremiah chapter twelve verse one. Righteous art thou, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, when I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy that deal very treacherously, you know? And that's how it seems out here, man. You know, you know, and sometimes you ask the Lord that, man, like, you know, why why the wicked in a uh in a position of prosperity, man? You know, why 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 are the evil uh people, you know, 
looking to do for bring forth all this wicked judgment? Why is, you know, uh, those happy who work wickedness, man? You know, mm -hmm. why why is it, you know, why is it like this? It's some, sometimes you feel like that, man. You know, just like, damn, bro. You know, these people are completely wicked out here, man. And, mm -hmm. You know, they prospering in their wicked, wickedness. But I got I got a quick mm -hmm. up for my own. I, I, I should have pulled it. I mean, I should have wrote this one down, but it's the spirit. I just thought about that when I said that. It's Psalms chapter, uh, Psalms chapter 37, verse 1. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. You know, so mm -hmm. it said, don't hurt yourself with, with evildoers, man. You know, mm -hmm. you don't be envious against the workers of iniquity because soon enough they time going to come. You know, mm -hmm. soon enough they're going to be cut off, man. That's right. right. You know, what it tell you that, uh, you know, if you're not this from old, that the triumphing of the wicked is, is, is short. It's but, mm -hmm. it's but a short time. You know, so the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. like we were going into that, I think it was after count, uh, about how, you know, the... Uh, the Heavenly Father give everybody their time to do their thing, you know. Mm -hmm. huh. So, right. you know, Yahweh Shah, he, he allows everybody a little piece of time to, you know, do their thing. But, but soon enough, he 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 gonna uh, he gonna cut their ass off, man. You know, because mm -hmm. it said, uh, "Fret not thyself." You know, when you go into that word, or fret, it means to be like uh, inwardly agitated. You know, mm -hmm. what you see, you know, and it's easily it's easy to get. And really mm -hmm. uh, agitated at right. you know the things that's going forth, and, you know all the wickedness and these mm -hmm. people prospering in their wickedness. You know you'll get you get agitated at, at, at that, man. You know? That's right, huh? I got one to lamb that. Huh. This is a uh, Second Ezra chapter nine and thirteen. It says, "And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, and whose world is." And for whom the world is created, you know, just as we're bringing up, man, we not, and we, we know how the ungodly, I mean, they're going to be, they're going to be punished, period. You know what I'm saying? It says, be not curious how, you know what I'm saying? So, we, you know, whether it's, you know what I'm saying? The straight bullet, whether it's, you know, some type of natural cause, the ICBM nuclear missiles that's about to hit this place, you know what I'm saying? The Leviathan, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the chariot, hey man, you know what I'm saying? The spirits that create revenge, ultimately, they're going to get theirs, but to get up out of here, man. It says, "Be not curious of how the ungodly shall be punished, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved." You know what I'm saying? So, as we brought out in Romans the 13th chapter, man, you know we we just kind of wake up out of sleep because salvation is near. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to be curious about. Are we? You know what I'm saying? Are we doing enough? You know what I'm saying? Are we ungodly or are we part of the righteous? You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to be worried about. Ah, bro. You know. Kind. Yeah, that was the point. Kind, bro. Kind. Uh, let me get this in uh, Job chapter 20, verse 5. Uh, I start from 4. It says, Know if thou, thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. You know, and that's that nightmare. You know, the, 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 the wicked, the wicked prospering and wickedness, uh, the wickedness encompassing roundabout uh, uh, righteousness. That's the nightmare, man. You know, but it said uh, soon enough it's gonna it's gonna fly away as a dream and as a vision of the night. So you ain't even gonna remember that more. That's that dream. That's that bad dream. That's what this place gonna be. You know, speak uh, primarily speaking. This really talking about Esau, Edom, but you can apply this to all the wicked and this wicked ass place, Babylon. You know, mm -hmm. it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a dream. It's gonna fly away like a dream, like a vision of the night, a, a nightmare, like a bad dream. You know. Mm -hmm. You had, you had something else, bro? Um, I was thinking you had me think of one. You got some? Uh, you said you did have one? 
I was just thinking of one, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna try to look for it. Um, yeah, I got I got one in Ezekiel 23. But um, you have some? Yeah, I got a quick one. Huh. All right, this is Psalm chapter 126, verse one. When the Lord Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. <laughs> so that's 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 how it's gonna be in the uh, kingdom of heaven. When Yahweh Shimashat take this captivity away from us, when he take us out of this hellhole, it's gonna be like a, a a bad dream, man. You know, we're gonna look back at it like, boy, that was a damn nightmare, man. You know, because you got some people right now, they so sleep and dead, they 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 believe that this place is okay. You know, they comfortable with it. You know, mm -hmm. so they like. You know, I'm I'm not even sleep. It's not even no nightmare. I I love this. All right, but when you get in your right mind, you know, when we get when the kingdom of heaven is established, you can get in your right mind. You're gonna be like, boy, that was that was a damn nightmare. Man. You know, that's right. Well, just you, you I got one just laying back. Kind of, bro. This is um Ezekiel thirty. It's like Ezekiel twenty three and um twenty seven. It says, "Thus I will make thy lewdness to cease from thee." And thy whoredom brought from the land of Egypt, so that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them, nor remember Egypt any more. Mm. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's going to be, you know, the type of dreams you wake up and you you, you forgot. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? It, it's going to yeah. be even, even that much of a, um, of a situation in a kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Compared to where we are right now, how much hell we going through. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says, you know, we know this is spiritual Egypt. You know what I'm saying? We're not even going to remember. You know what I'm saying? Like, ultimately, it's going to be a thing of the past. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's basically where we're going to be at. You know what I mean? That's right. Round me seven to one. Well, um, that's, you know, that's another subject. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not really supposed to be, uh, we ain't supposed to be dealing with these nations. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we talk about Genesis and the, the trees of the garden. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, certain things, you know, we, we can do it if it's unlawful. You know, scripture says there's no law, there's no transgression. But, you know, that's you know, another topic. Yeah. This, uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 49. That was it, bro? No, you got it. This, uh, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25. But that said the Lord, you have seen my shot, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. You know? So it said, uh, the prey of the terrible, which the terrible is Esau Edom. You know, who who is the prey of the so called white man? That's the so called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian, man. Yah by Shima Shah said he's gonna contend with uh uh, contend with him that contended with us, and he contends with us, man. All right. So Yahweh Shemashai gonna, uh, you know, he gonna, he gonna, uh, he gonna deliver us from this captivity. Ultimately, he gonna, he gonna take us from this nightmare, man. All right. He gonna cleanse us. We'll tell you about that in Ezekiel, uh, I think the thirty-seventh chapter, and uh, Jeremiah the thirty-first chapter, you know, Hebrews the eighth chapter, you know. Uh. uh that's it. Yeah, that's it on that one. You got, you got one, bro? Oh, that was it. All right, I got one last one. Then we can wrap it up. It's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 1. For all this I considered in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of Yahweh. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. It says, all things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean and to the unclean and to him that sacrifices and to him that sacrifices not as is the good. So is the sinner and he that swear as he that fear an oath. Um, it says, there is an evil among all things that are done in the sun. There is one event unto all yeah. Also, the heart of sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live, and after they go to the dead. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. You know, 
So ultimately, you know, uh, like like I was, uh, we had made that little point earlier. You know, mm -hmm. everybody had a little time. You know, every everybody got to go through. Everybody gonna catch hell at, at the end of the day. You know, everybody gonna have their own nightmare. You know, everybody gonna have their uh, good dreams. You gonna have good dreams. You gonna have bad dreams. You know, but ultimately, it says better is a, a, a living dog than a dead lion, man. You know, and that's uh, as long as you got this word, you can be considered into a living dog. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you in this world, uh, and go uh, indulging in the wickedness of this world, you be considered like a dead lion. You know, so it, it's better to you know be in this captivity with Yahabashim Al Shadin. To not have you have Hashem out shine, prosper and wickedness, you know. Because so ultimately you gon you 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 gon' you gon' get yours, you know. Come on, bro. That, that was it, unless you have some. Nah, no, nah, that was it. You know, shout out to everybody who's tuning in, you know. Lord willing, you know, I had a video on YouTube. Uh, if not today, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to catch up from the beginning. Just going into how this place is, uh, this place is wicked, man. This is a nightmare, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, this could be edifying to the elect, you know? But with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bashem. Bashem. Raka. Raka. Kadash. Kadash. The belongs to the apostles, and those great millstone, peace and salutation to all Sisayaki and enduring afflictions, making the quote election sure. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.